Yo, what's up guys? AFC Dino here. Um got this coaching session with one of my boys going on. Uh we're about to review one of his uh one of his gameplay. And there's him playing Sun versus a Tyranitar. It's always uh it's always an interesting one. Uh, the, the last student also uh used Sun team. So it's quite popular. I'm not I'm not a huge fan, but uh uh yeah we just go we're just gonna go over the gameplay um he shared with me his thought process and uh yeah just gonna go over it right now yeah the first thing um we're always looking at here is uh obviously we are the left side our opponent is the right side we're gonna look at our wing condition right here so we're gonna look at our our main pokemon so charizard lucario and venusaur those are the big ones sometimes rodan with hydro pump can be for sure volt switch but in this case uh, we're looking at our main mods right so we have charizard right here uh so the one that stops Char charizard is really the tyranitar so in order for charizard to to actually excel in this game we need tyranitar gone same goes for the venusaur because as long as tyranitar lives um and he gets up the, the sandstorm uh we cannot really sweep with venusaur because the moment the sun is up uh, the sandstorm is up he almost goes metagross um so for that we need to rent gone as well however for lucario uh our close combat is actually looking quite good because if wheezing dies so if we can somehow get rid of wheezing um then lucario gets to spam close combat against our opponent because garchomp's not gonna come in well to it if we if dragonite comes in on it he's still gonna take quite a bit of damage Plus, uh, the multi skill is broken, which might help us later on. Uh, so those are the two mods we're actually looking at. Uh, so either Weezing or Tyranitar, need, they need to be extremely weakened or they need to be gone. Um, so in terms of lead, it's quite difficult uh, pulling this off. So in this one, you led off with with the Torkoal, right, uh, Blindspot? Yeah, I believe I let off with Torkoal. Let off with Torkoal. Whenever you're playing Sun and you're using a Torkoal, you always got to think about how does my opponent punish the Torkoal lead. Because if we lead off with Torkoal, look at the mods he has. He has a Garchomp. He has a Rotom. He has a Tyranitar. Those are three mods our, our Torkoal cannot not do shit against. So okay. if we lead off with the Torkoal here... Uh, we can easily get punished like we might be afraid of Tyranitar and then Tyranitar clicks Pursuit or something uh, which lowers us um yeah since we know the win condition we have to come up with a game plan uh we cannot without the without the sun we lose a lot of damage um so here we gotta feel out the game uh look for opportunities so uh, in a team building video i talked about the mid crown lead uh rotom would be a really decent example there doesn't really have a bad matchup against our opponent in a lot of cases it's able to get off a volt switch and hydro pump is also looking quite strong versus our opponent as only rotom can come into it but then we can volt switch on the rotom and okay. again if dragonite resist resist the hydro pump but we're breaking a multi-skill there so in this sense leading off with the rotom gives us a bit of um yeah the mid ground lead we can figure out sets on our opponent and then we can utilize Torkoal for later because Torkoal also needs to be there for the Dragonite because we're also looking at threats on our opponent's side right uh look at our Dragon Resist we have none so if that's if that Garchomp is Draco Meteor or something or he's Choice Bandit or he's Sub Home Claw then um yeah it's, it's gonna be rough same goes for Dragonite if he's Choice Bandit with Dragon Claw it's gonna hurt Dragon Dance obviously gonna hurt as well. But we're gonna need our Torkoal for that. Torkoal for Garchomp so that the Venusaur can always outspeed him. Um, but yeah, we let up with the Torkoal. Speed ahead a bit. Go into the Rotom, and yeah, this is always it's always annoying because Rotom can do so many so much stuff. Like you can trick here. It's, it's, nothing here is ideal. Well, if we have Rotom and he tries to pull some shenanigans on us, we at least get a free Volt Switch. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we have, we're forced to switch out. 
It is what I mean. Um, how can our opponent punish us if we lead Torkoal? Oh, I, I just mentioned three months. Oh, we're a bit scared here. We're going into Pinosaur. It's it's really tough what to do here because just because of the lead choice, the position we put ourselves into. But now we need a bit of predicting and a bit of luck. With luck, I mean what kind of set he is. And yeah, he goes for the trick, which is really annoying with the sticky barb on our Venusaur. Uh, we go for the we go for the growth there, which. Is a is a fine play, I think. Uh, just because if Tyranitar comes in, we do, we will get to plus two if he decides to volt switch. We'll still be at plus one if Tyranitar comes in, and at this point, without the life warp, that's it's pretty tough utilizing uh, the um, utilizing the Phoenixor. Yeah, this, this is the thing with the alt tabbing, man. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can speed. Speed ahead a bit. You, you were caulking something. Uh, the, you, were you caulking the Tyranitar here? Yeah, I was talking to uh, Titor. Growth there, he hard swaps. So we're only at plus one here. We don't have a life warp. This Tyranitar. Yeah, it can be a lot of stuff. But we, you decide to Giga Drain here. And this is still going to facilitate our one of our win conditions. Two of our win conditions are Charizard and our Venusaur. Just remember what we said in the beginning. In order to excel with Venusaur, Charizard, Tyr Tyranitar needs to be gone. And he just gives us a free Giga Drain there. We even get a crit there. So he's super low. So now even if... Now he doesn't really stop Charizard that much either. Because if he switches into Charizard, he might get to it KO'd. And like this is like really good and yeah we just kick it right here to the wheezing and i guess he didn't realize that weather ball works like this as well but yeah you, you're, you're at plus one it's just took sandstorm damage it's 100 base power that weather ball definitely gonna kill it's basically a specs weather ball coming his way I don't know why I tried calculating it. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to call, but uh, if it, like if first time, but uh, just th those are just the numbers. Like it's base hundred, and you're basically specs here. Yeah, uh, he's gonna die. And, we, and again, it's, like this is this this position was so good for you. We got the Tyranitar that low, and Weezing is gone. So now our three mods are extremely deadly. So it's up to you to utilize them in like in the correct manner. Like right here, the game is completely in your hand. We still have our Torkoal alive to get the sun up. It goes into Metagross here. And here, yeah, you were, you were afraid of a bunch of stuff, so I can understand. But we have a full HP Rotom, which we still haven't utilized yet. Because what else is Rotom gonna do in this game? True. So if we if we remove the rocks right now with the defog, like we we know that the Tyranitar is the is the rocker, so he, this is probably not gonna be the rocker. We can get in our Rotom, and him damaging us is going to give us information. Because the moment he touches our Rotom, we um we basically uh Kalk. You get, went to Torkoal here, and this play seems fine at first. Well, we're, now, we're, now we're half HP, so um, that Dragonite is now looking more scary because because we just uh, allowed it to get to half HP. Well, if we went Rotom there, could have defucked on the next turn. And here we lava plumed. I think he even stayed in, but that was that wasn't too bad for him because we we had a Charizard in the back, we had Lucario, we had Close Combat, we had Flyscore with Earthquake. I think he, for him this trade was completely funny. He even had the chance to flinch you. 
But yeah, we do get the Lava Plume off on him. But now, let's just look at how low our Thor Thorkel is. I'd, I'm not sure if we're in Stealth Rock range here. I think we were. Now the, the, the debug was necessary. Um, and here, I think he went into Blast Core. But it's basically, yeah, you went into Glide Square. Like the, the the moment that Weezing died, we had the game in our hands, and then uh, we made it very difficult by allowing him to damage our Torkoal that much, because this this damage doesn't matter too much. Yeah, Glide Square comes. And I'm not sure what we're doing here. Like in this in this position, um, I'm not sure you went for earthquake. Yeah, the earthquake is a completely fine play in the sense that we're getting recovery. Meta gross is low, so I agree with the play. And this is something you gotta remember now, as I think you you turned on the Rotom. Mm -hmm. There we go. Remember, we have the sun up right here, so Hydro Pump is, uh, is Hydro Pump's damage is halved. However, we also have a uh, Glyscor <laughs> actually needs to be healthy for that Garchomp because our whole team is slower than the Garchomp. We don't have information on the Garchomp, so uh, going off stats alone, uh, the, the Garchomp is faster than our whole team because uh, it's going to be difficult getting up the sun now with Torkoal being this low. So oh, now we actually need HP on this Gliscor, so I would have rather seen you here protecting. We already know he's li like life warped uh, now, so with Trick. But if we protected here, we would have had a bit more HP. Okay, and yeah, the reason I wanted okay. you to protect there is to get enough HP so we can actually Stealth Rock in his face. And <laughs> because we needed those rocks for the Dragonite as well. Because right now... The, the one I'm most afraid of is the Dragonite. If he Dragon Dances up on something, we're completely screwed. But we U-turn here, and we get in our... Oh, those are the Bird Mewtwo movie names. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah, into the Venusaur. And I think he... I'm not sure, but I think he sacked the... We, we always Giga here. I think he sacked the tar here. And then he brought in the Dragonite and I was like, why are we switching? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I, I should have just, yeah, I should have just uh, sludge bombed. No, Weather Ball is a rock type move, bro. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> like all we needed, we need a chip on this guy. Rotom was still full HP, so from there we still live. Basically, um, let's see, we have he has a Dragonite in, and I, I saw you looking at everything. But Weather Ball is a Rock type move, so it's super effective. Um, we need chip on this guy, so Lucario can actually knock him out with extreme speed. Because. Oh, Right. By switching out here, we just gave him a free Dragon Dance. And you thought getting up to some, but if you're below 25, that's why you need the debug first. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, yeah, what, what I mentioned on allowing the Torkoal to get that low versus the Metagross. Because we we died to rocks there, <laughs> so, so bit, and he just he, he just he just he did reveal flamethrower there. So, but he, he did have leftovers, so dragon dance was always an option still. And I think here yeah, I'm not sure what you're doing. You're hovering Rotom right now.
Okay, we can still win from this position. Even though Dragonite is really scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we Volt switched. Which was a fair play. Uh, like defogging in, 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 in front of uh, Dragonite was scary. However, in this, in this case, again, we... Because we have the Sandstorm working for us here. So if we just protect there. Because you're gonna see later on. Like Sandstorm will end, but you you were lacking HP. And you could have pre you could have gotten two protect recovery on Glass Gear. You would have basically been full HP. Mm -hmm. And he died to the Sandstorm here. So what if what if we were if we go back right? So instead of you turning straight away, what if you protect it first? Got the recovery, right? Got the recovery. He takes the sandstorm damage, and then you U turn and he dies. Yeah, you're hundred percent right. And then we get in Rotom. We're fortunate that he misses there. And the moment he. He sent out the um, uh, the guard chomp. Sure what you were doing. Just raw hydro. Because I would have liked to see the defog the moment he sent out this. Mm hmm. But I guess Hydroing is fine in the sense that he could have been sub. But I was more afraid of the Dragon Knight at this point. But I guess Hydroing is fine first and, and, and defogging then. So how you played it right here. Because up to, up to here it's still fine. And he showed Toxics and Spikes. From the damage we can, we know he is running a bit of HP. So he's max HP, he might be in bish. This is running HP because that Hydro Pump did very little against him. However, we go hard into Garchomp here. Why aren't, aren't we going Venusaur? Venusaur is slower than this. Dragonite could have extreme speed. Right? Venusaur is basically dead. It's not going to do anything at this point. It still has the sticky barb. So why not instead sack the Venusaur? Because look what happens here. You go into Glass Square. It, it's all about being efficient in the end game. Yeah, you're, you're right. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Come in on the Dragon Claw. Yeah, it, it still looks fine here. But now you're in crit range. And remember, if we protected those two turns against those ro Rotoms, we would have been at, at green HP. We rocks here. We barely live. And the reason why you shouldn't... Like, I can... I... I can see why you don't protect here in case he goes hard Dragonite for some reason. Because if he goes Dragonite and you protect there, you're going to be in an annoying position. But if we were more efficient earlier, we would have been mm -hmm. in a better position right there. Yeah. So now we make the Venusaur sack, but if we sack Venusaur first, we had more HP right now. You're, now you're second Venusaur now anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But at least we got the rocks up. And then you went for the... For the game losing play. Because we know... We know the moveset on this guy. So here... We can just, we can literally just flame Char because we don't want to kill him with Charizard right here. We just want to lower him. 
Because we overheat here and I was afraid of you killing him. Obviously it won't kill, but in critting him. Because... Aaron's like, okay, 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 this, this, this is perfect. This is perfect. Basically what I wanted you to do there... I wanted you to go Rotom here and sack him. Because the only way right now we lose this game is if this if this Dragonite Dragon dances up. That's the only way we lose. Mm -hmm. And you going to minus two to minus four basically ensures that this guy gets the, the Dragon Dance. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Because what I wanted you to do there instead was go Rotom. Spam Volt Switch. Just spam Volt Switch. The reason we want to spam Volt Switch is we want to let Rodom die. Then go Gliscor, protect. To get the HP. Mm -hmm. Protect to get the HP. And basically kill this Garchomp with U-turn. So that we can get Lucario in 1v1. For you you want to you wanna make place to allow Lucario... To get the 1v1 Lucario with Dragonite without him being Dragon Danced up. Because you had him at, at the perfect amount of HP. If you you, you will you would kill him with U-turn there. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you're right. So that's why I wanted you to sack the Rotom. Go go Gliscor, protect. Get enough HP back so you can knock him out with U-turn. Or Alternatively, you sack Rodon. You sack Rodon, then you, you go Lucario. But I think the Dragonite is still uh, Charizard is still in extreme speed range from here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's the route you had to go to create that one for one situation. Because now you lost against the regular Dragonite. This one was running a strange flamethrower set with Dragon Dance. You go into this guy now. I see Dragon Dance is up. Now we lose. Yeah, I'm not even sure why I went with Glass Torch because it doesn't even do anything here. And here, you tried to go Rotom hoping he would live. It didn't. It just took a bit too much damage. If it took one less uh, stealth rock damage or the second tick of poison, he would have lived there. Mm -hmm. But we don't. And then, then we have we just have to go Lucario, and we we made the misplay here by going for extreme speed. Because you have to at this point, the game is his if it's like a regular fire punch set, right? The game is his. However, we're not killing with extreme speed here, even if we crit. Just go for the move that kills him and ho and praise he misclicks. Like we had sure. the ice punch, but we go for extreme speed. But there's like there's no way there's no way extreme speed kills. Mm -hmm. so it's better to go for the one uh, for the for the one attack. Because he can always attack into extreme speed himself. Are we extreme speed here? And I think he revealed Flamethrower earlier. I think he revealed Flamethrower earlier as well. Yeah, he did. So, we could have guessed that we lived that. Oh yeah, because because we took this attack. He not, then extreme speeds us on the next turn. I was surprised we still died though. But Lucario is not that, that bulky, but still. I get. I, I hope that one makes sense, because Extreme Speed, no, even if we yeah, crit, it it's not killing. It's not killing. No, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I should have 100%. And then we I might as well go for the one hit KO. Yeah. Yeah, uh, next time, just stream your game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. But. But yeah, that's what I that's what I meant. The game because the game was literally ours. The taking. The moment that Weezing died. But we, yeah, we we misplayed our Torkoal. And then uh we didn't play well around the Dragonite. Which eventually uh cost us the game. Like for 
like with, with the Gliscor, for example, keeping him healthy so that he can get guaranteed get get up rocks. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Um, I think we, I think I said a lot in this uh, in this one. I uh, just watch it back. Watch it back. But uh, yeah, I hope you see that this game was truly winnable. Like hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> not not just winnable. The game was literally yours. But uh, yeah, that's that's why it's good to make these kind of mistakes, uh, learning from them. Um, so I'm gonna end off the video right here, guys. Thank you for watching. It's a bit one, it's a bit of a slower one. Um, but uh, hope you guys still enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Join the Discord server. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time.